Hi, welcome guys. It's um, let's have a look. The sixth September, two thousand eighteen, <coughs> and on Saturday the fifteenth here, we're going to put this ISO that I'm working on online. I'm going to show you what's my workflow after a clean installation. So this is a clean installation, Tolt SSD. You get everything. I don't dual boot or anything. I'll just switch SSDs. There's nice base you can buy and then you pop it out pop another in and that's how it worked now updating is done like this so what I do first is probably go to the display manager here and I say mirror my display so I have two systems here on the two screens so I'll say uh, get rid of this one but since I'm recording I let everything be as is so that's the first thing I probably do. Then I see something red down here. So control T. There are changes in the alias. We have uh, moved from Yaourt to J. And um, that's it, basically. So for you, the, these things say the same. Update is still uh, the same, meaning get everything that's coming from Arch Linux and Arco Linux, those two. And we've just put on a new NeoFetch kit, a fix for your configuration files. So that's installed, but remember always what I say, if it's in here, you should take an action. So let's do that together later. And then we also, also should check if any of the AUR packages, meaning Arch user repository, it's not Arch, it's not Arch Linux, it's something else that's coming from Debian and Red Hat and all that. Applications like Dropbox, Insync, Spotify, Discord are coming from AOR. So I have the tendency to break because um, it's it's human human error or it's also updates that are coming along and so on. A short word about this. So moving to from Yahoo to Ye gives us two more lines down here. And this line is there because we have this XF panel switch and we've seen it's not in AOR anymore meaning they have decided to uh, see if they can incorporate it in XFC. So it, at some point in time, the XFC desktop will be updated and it will include this, but for the time being, it's not included. So we keep it in until it is. And these guys are out of date. So I always say to the users on the forum, say, look, if something is not working anymore and it's in AOR packages, go to the website AOR Arch Linux and flag it out of date. And so this is what happens. Somebody went to the website and says this package is out of date and this one is out of date as well. Doesn't mean it's not working. Let's give an example for the weather in Antwerp. It's working just fine. So this is my prognosis in ASCII. So yeah, so these two lines are new to the users. So I've updated my machine. Next thing I'll do is probably go to Firefox. I think that will be the browser where I'll start. And I'll go inside, sign in to sync, sign in. And here, of course, I'm gonna pause everything and I'm going to sign into my account. But before I do that, I have to get first my password. So I don't know what the password is. So I go to add-ons, right? get add-ons, scroll down, find more add-ons and I go to the password managers and I get my last pass in. Like so. So here it is and this is my time to pause the video. So it's red up here, this means I'm signed in and I'm going to log into my Firefox Sync account so I get all my back bookmarks and my applications and all that. When I've signed in, it says check your email for the sign in confirmation link. So I'm going to go to my email account and click on that link. So Firefox will begin syncing momentarily. Firefox is connected. I clicked on my email account and he's getting all the information in. We don't see anything, but it is really. So toolbars, bookmark toolbars, going to delete stuff that I don't need. 
So this is everything I need. I have my start, I have my Arco Linux, and I have my Arco Linux web. And when I click on this one, everything just pops open. So that's all set online. And yes, I use Firefox for Arc Linux accounts. I use uh, the Vivaldi for the Eric Dubois accounts. And Google Chrome is without 16 or 17 tabs opening up. So that's why there are three browsers on there. They're always open at all times. Um, what's next thing I'll do? Probably the next thing I'll do is go to Vivaldi. Since this is browser for Arco Linux, this browser Vivaldi is going to be used for my account, Eric Dubois. So Vivaldi. This pop-up be awake and in, in, in the sense that don't uh, just ignore it or you type a password in it or you say continue, continue. So you don't get a password anymore. So dark, okay, fine, get in touch, start browsing. Then we're going to set our elements. So first off, I don't like this look. So I'm going to do this, close it, open it again. So now everything is open in a big tab and I'm going to click on some elements. Don't want this themes you can choose for this one choose a theme uh, this one tabs panel dress bar bookmarks quick commands keyboard this one i need to delete because of wordpress activities search bing no not really so set as default save and now you can either say okay i'm going to delete everything which is possible so delete and then delete and delete but you can keep it in as well, so whatever you want, but just make sure that Google is your set, your default search. Well, not Google, your own preference is set as default. Privacy, I don't want web page passwords, it's all a must pass. And downloads, I want it like this. Web pages, that's it. Those are my settings. Then the extensions i need last pass as well here last pass add to chrome add extension so 650 websites with a login and their password are loaded that's the idea and one thing more i'm going to import my bookmarks so manage bookmarks delete everything delete my trash and import from Firefox because that has been loaded up. Firefox is closed, it needs to be closed. I just want the bookmarks, that's it. Start import and import is done. You see here everything that I have. This needs to be killed and trash needs to be cleaned. So this is my look, view, show bookmarks. So again, I have here the same similar elements but i do not have my tab so all these tabs are always open at all time so i say open i don't need this one that's google and that's gmail great so all these tabs are open you count them a lot of them are always open at all time on vivaldi but this case on eric dubois account so the one thing more for settings, if this is what I need, I say specific pages, uh, use current pages, and this list now is, is in there. So uh, I'm gonna use every time I, when I open Vivaldi, this is going to be loaded. The same happens in Firefox with uh, same uh, kind of URLs. So this is what's open at all time. So that's done as well. Um, let me log in now into Vivaldi, yeah, back to Vivaldi. So as you see, everything is loaded up. I am going to go to my G drive, my Google drive and log in there. So welcome to my G drive. I have this folder ready, which is called get started. So I download this. Remember the idea for this video is how to 
set up your system as efficient and as easy as possible and the get started is part of it. So what I don't have now is Dropbox, I don't have InSync and I don't have my GitHubs. This is the part where I get everything for the GitHub. So the Arch Linux, Arch Linux D and Arch Linux B. Everything should be downloaded from GitHub. It's taking a while to zip it. So let's pause. We see here the message that the download is complete. And let's have a look at the download. So what did I get? Get started, extract here, get started. These are my folders I have always. So this is the Arch Linux GitHub. This is the Arch Linux B GitHub, and this is the Arch Linux D GitHub. And this is my GitHub data. So these guys are empty actually, but they will be filled very easy. So this is, oops, that's not what I want, uh, paste. So let's get mine first. So data, it says update data kit. So quick look at this file. The only thing it does is tell to go to a particular GitHub and say, okay, let's make it bigger so you can write it. Don't have to ask the script, just freeze the phrase uh, and the pain of the, the video and you have it. So it's going to check, is there already an Arch Linux Nemesis? No, if not, then you git clone everything from there. Go inside Arch Linux Nemesis, git pull, and then you say the Arch Linux Nemesis is done. Get out of it and do the next one. So it's a repetitive, repetitive uh, exercise here. So if you run it the second time, then it says, okay, Arch Linux is already there. I'm not gonna git clone it and then it's going to git pull it. So it gets the newest version from it. Uh, since I'm working on different computers, I get uh, the latest version on this system as well. So actually this thing does nothing more than make sure I get everything all from online to my system. Now we have made this nice little thing. We used to do it like this, properties, permissions, allow this file to run or schmot plus X or something, but it's now here, make executable done and then I start update so that's done he's starting and this is the first one that's downloaded Arch Linux Nemesis I will install this one as well you check the website archlinux.com why that is what's in there it makes my work easier but let's do that later so first going to get everything from the line online um, and going to get it here so make it make executable again update this one as well everything is coming from the githubs i'm going to get uh, all my last uh, latest coding so there's no difference between machine one and machine two everything is the same ownership new max executable voila we're bombarding github and everything is going to be downloaded. So you see all these GitHubs are coming uh, in the different directories. This run is already finished. It's Arch Linux D. It's waiting me for, for me to click it away. So that's all I have to do. I have to wait for everything to download. And we have a wallpaper that's not nice. What we do is press Alt and then T from Trash. Alt T and Trash and we have a nice car which is a nice one, I don't know what it is, but it's nice anyway. So, those are the GitHub stuff. So the GitHub stuff is coming, but I also have Dropbox and have InSync. So nothing is on my machine, it's always a clean install and always getting my documents again. So Dropbox, it's already in there or not? Dropbox is not installed, neither is InSync and so on. Now, I can do two things. I can just type them, which it would be okay. Let's do, give an example. Uh, sudo packen minus s. Yes, we can do this. Yeah, I know it's an AOR package, but we have a third party repo and Dropbox is in there. Spotify is in there. InSync is in there. Um, and Discord. Huh? Those four can be installed just by typing this. Or, if you don't like to type, go to data, go to Arch Linux Nemesis, and let's have a look what's inside. 
So use all the cores. Yes. Well, you have um, how is it called again? Glances? No, I'm forgetting always where you see. Here it is. Anyway, so eight core. I have eight cores. So Control C. I can tell the system, hey, come on, use them all. So we have eight cores. Change the make flags for eight cores. So I'm gonna use every core I have, which is going to cut down my time in uh, installing this PC, this system. Now number 100 is the core software. And as you see, screen features installed, but also Discord. So that's the first one that's in here. And we're going to install Dropbox in sync. This is Dropbox. So it means we can already do in sync, but let's just wait till everything just installs. You see, these things are quite big. So it can happen that uh, GitHub times out. The only thing you have to do is run it again, and next time uh, it will be installed. So it's just a timing issue or a bottleneck issue if it happens on GitHub. So that's 100. 200 is going to install more software. And we could have a look at, well, you can have a look at this one. That's just all separate things. Ah, yes, another one, Telegram Desktop. Uh, if you'd like that, um, you can install it as well. If you use Telegram on your mobile machine, then it's also on your desktop. This one is going to install lots of other things like the music player, but then in terminal, the Numix folders you can change yourself. A new thing, well new, um, we've made a package build tutorial about that one. It's a nice, um, let's show, it's a nice um, cursor. That's what it is. Now the cursors are here in XFCE and it's this one. It's a bit a strange cursor and it's a blue one, radio tray. The Sardi extra icons, hundreds more choices of Sardi variations for virtual boxes installed. And then we're going to fix elements because some of the elements will never be changed. And that's not because of Arch Linux nor Arch Linux, but because of developers. HP is pointing to a specific image, which will never ever change whatever. Um, icon theme you choose, it's going to stay the same. So this is going to be run here and it's also here, fix hard-coded icons. And then if you run this here, then you'll see it's working. This is my cursor that's now working. And there you go. So all these guys have been fixed. And if there are still more, then it just means that hard code fixer does not know them. You have to fix them manually. So all the icons are now monochrome and correct. So that's the hard code fixer and it's still working. The fonts installed all the fonts needed for Conkeys. We are in the process of making, um, adding fonts to our system, but not without written consent of the users. So, um, we install this one, this one for the microcode error. I'm not going to run this and see if I still get it because we've had lots of updates coming on. So maybe there's no issue. So I want to have virtual box. So I say, yes, install it, please. That's probably the most used application <laughs> on this PC, virtual box, trying out all the builds. So if this was number 200, we are, we need 300. And then I'm not gonna run, like I said, normally I would say 400, won't hurt anything really, no problem, but I'm gonna see if without, um, without running this script, if I have an error, because I do believe it's not necessary anymore at this point in time, September, 2018. Then, we have also a personal folder since, um, yeah, this is my personal computer. I have a particular setup I like to have, 
and number 100 is going to install personal settings folders which is the dot font dot themes dot icons that's created now and 200 is watch this site here is all my bookmarks because I otherwise have to set them all again and it's a lot of work to set them in the right way so every computer whatever system I'm on it's going to be this division Arch Linux, Arch Linux D, P, Theta, Confi, Conky it has a, a logic for me and then 300 is something specific for me since I have WordPress websites I need to have images in GPG not PNG that's why people tell me Eric why do you have screen shooters you have two screen sh uh, uh, shot things here well one is GNOME and one is XFCE one can print uh, one can make a GPG and the other can't so I need to have uh, both since XFCE well yeah uh, normally has one so I added the GNOME screenshot to have the possibility to make one in GPG for the website so that's the reason why we have two always a reason 400 is a Firefox fix uh, sometimes you can't almost read out the things you type it's it's white background and a grayish font that's fixed you have a black font now I'm gonna leave uh, this one as well fix simple screen icons and fix spline text I think we do need to run it but I'm gonna try it out and then 700 fun apps for screenshots that is a superb script here it gets the pipes it gets a few fetch it gets a lot of things it's actually all to be checked on here I think just go for fun script or something I don't know fun script here installing the fun it was still in the side here so one of these things but it, just take a look the ASCII query and the C matrix school razor term cow fortune with a uh, what is it again I'll see it later maybe some colors lol cats um, Azel bash pipes Kava so lots of stuff also the radio which is a nice thing curse radio so that's a music station in Belgium. Just kind of listen to it. Toilet, slurm, the clock, and uh, you fetch. And there will be more and more and more in the future. So each time I find something fun, it ends in here. So that's 700. And this is just for me, probably. Uh, not just for me, but I have an Intel graphical card. And we don't install it on VirtualBox tried it gone wrong just for SSD I can do this this is supposedly to be a better font for me um, so still on debate uh, just try it out and see if it works for you if it's better or not and this is just when I am on uh, plasma clearly so that's it these two have been jumped for now as well as the Intel microcode and Basically, the only thing I need to do now is InSync and Dropbox. So let's go to InSync, start that one up. So add Google account. It's going to ask for Eric Dubois. I'm gonna give it my password. Let's pause here. There's also something I always do, and that's go to the preferred applications and tell it to go to Vivaldi because Chromium is empty. Uh, Vivaldi has bookmarks for Eric, Firefox has bookmarks for Arch Linux, and Chromium is empty. So I have to change the preference here and do it all over again. So again, the InSync, and then pause the video. Then I have to set it correctly since this is going to be my folder name. I don't like that. So change. I'm going to set to InSync. It's a strange thing that these icons, this font is here. I've asked the guys to look into it. And then set as sync folder and then got it. And then some explanations you can skip or look at. And that's it, you're all set. What I'm gonna do is tell them to download Arch Linux, the shared folder, 
Linux folder, the get started folder, and that's probably enough for now, and apply. You can always add more later. So all these things, all these folders will be downloaded. And that's it, so InSync is syncing. Next one is Dropbox. And then I just can walk away and wait for everything to sync. So again, I have to log in here, which is not the correct one, but I'm gonna pause. Okay, I signed in with the correct um, login and this is then Dropbox is, is, wait, or is working, you can see it's working here. I'm gonna set the preferences to sync and selective sync. I don't want this, do want that, don't want that, get started, okay. Don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, don't want, update. Okay, that's the only thing I want to um, get on the system and all the rest stays in the cloud. So that's how I roll. I thought I would, um, would be interesting to share it. If you um, see what you like, I mean, you can reuse the scripts and well, find your own way to have a as efficient, as efficient uh, way to install after a clean installation. But um, this is um, probably what I do. Um, I don't think I forgot anything important or major. So have fun.